Hey, welcome back everybody. We're the San Antonio Pickers and if this is your first time here, consider subscribing. We're a part-time reseller family that buys things on uh, in the local market to buy low, sell high on eBay. And we just got back from a family vacation to Houston where we went to Kima Boardwalk and we also went to the Johnson Space Center and hit the beach a little bit. And while we were gone, six things sold, which is one of the benefits of selling on eBay. Is that passive income, passive income so things can sell even while you are away on vacation so let's look at the three the six things that sold all right and what's exciting about these is getting some of the smaller items gone okay so this is fallout new vegas um, i paid a dollar for it unfortunately i didn't pay attention it only has the second disc so i sold it second disc only with the manual it's 6.99 hold on let me get oh all right let me get my little cheat sheet here Okay, so Fallout New Vegas was $6.99 free shipping, so hopefully just going to break even on that one. Um, this one is a Ferrari Testarossa Hot Wheels, and I paid $3 for this as part of a buy-in for um, hopefully get access to some better things later, and that sold for $8.99 free shipping. This one is part of a vintage match, matchbook. Um, that I had bought already made my money back and made about $50 profit and so this one is just adding to it this one sold for $9.99 plus shipping then what's funny is I've had this shuttle crew emblem collector series um, oh I got this when I was probably 14 so about 30 years now 30 31 years um, and I just didn't want them anymore some STS Columbia and guess what it sold it's sold what's funny is this actually sold while i was at johnson space center that's that's funny right um i was at johnson space center and th this one sold so then i sold this even now matthew west matthew ward sorry brand new cd um i have 50 cents into this one got it at an estate sale and it sold for 16.99 free shipping and the last thing is just courageous it sold for 6.99 free shipping and i really don't know how much i have into this because it will start part of a huge bulk buy on that toy lot it's almost a throw in so i'm just happy to take to get it gone so right there is the six things that sold while we were out on vacation so now time to get them packed up and get them out Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we continue the saga of the Nintendo 3DS. So this is the one that I picked up on Nextdoor for $40. I told y'all I reached out to Cody with a K to see if I should buy the stylus or not. We decided not to. Uh, it sold within two days uh, for $144.99. Free shipping. And the person just ghosted me. Would not pay. Would not talk to me when I reached out to them. Just silence. So after a few days, I was finally able to cancel the order because they didn't pay to relist it. It sold about in three days later for $149.99 free shipping. So $40 into $149.99 free shipping. I really like that deal. But let me know in the comments below what y'all think about this. I'm a firm believer that if you make a bid and don't pay, so you win an auction, you don't pay, or you accept an offer and do not pay, that should be automatic feedback on you as a buyer. Automatic feedback. If it's a buyer not paid or any reason like that, either at this auction or it's a buy it now and you just don't pay, it's automatic negative feedback. I think there needs to be repercussions for that type of buyer activity. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So just in case you're wondering how I'm shipping out this Nintendo 3DS, three small games and a charger, um, free shipping so I'm sending it in a padded flat rate so what I'm gonna do wrap each thing individually in bubble wrap then I'm gonna slide it into this 1096 L box give it some extra protection put a little paper in there then I'm gonna slide that into the padded flat rate um, this comes with a hundred dollars of insurance this is $149.99 so I'm gonna pay the extra what a uh, couple dollars for the extra insurance just to be safe and that's how I'm shipping out the Nintendo 3DS. Let me know if you think it's overkill. All right, after a slow week, a few things finally sold. I bought this Best of British uh, Shepherd Smashbox car, brand new. 
um, at an estate sale a while ago. Paid two dollars for it, and it finally sold for four ninety nine plus shipping. So I'll probably break even, make just a few cents. So not the best buy, but it looked cool, so I got it. And this one was really good. So I got these at a garage sale that was benefiting a local charity. I mean, they were like almost brand new condition. Paid three dollars for those. These A6 gels and they sold for $25 plus shipping sent an offer out on both of those to get them sold $4.99 and $25 plus shipping so i'm just happy to get a few things gone and hopefully april will start to pick up hey good afternoon it is sunday afternoon let's look at one thing that sold and a few things we got over the weekend uh, we hit a few community garage sales there wasn't a lot a lot of stuff was overpriced but i got a few things that i that i could resell so the first thing that sold is this cool midwestern company gas can i paid two dollars for this um and it sold for 9.99 plus shipping so i didn't know how much it was worth obviously this one has some rust um, i listed it as check pictures because it has character was the term i used a word for rust it's still a pretty cool if this hadn't been in better condition it would have gone for about 30 or 40. that's kind of what they're selling for but as this i underpriced the market so that i could get it gone now let's oh i got a lot of stuff here i got a lot of stuff here so let's look at everything thing we got all right so we got this Parker Brothers Billionaire game paid $5 for it. Uh, they go for about $12.99, $14.99 plus shipping. It says complete. I haven't had a chance to look at it. Then we got two Cowboys hats, brand new, for a dollar each. Got a coffee mug, uh, RTIC Outdoors coffee mug. It's pretty cool. Uh, paid a dollar for it. Then I got a lot of these Xbox 360 games. I didn't look them up. The person had them. I paid a dollar each. So I'll probably lot up, either lot them all up or I separate them. These ones might be worth selling individually and then I'll just lot these ones up. But y'all look at the titles. I know Xbox 360 games are not that valuable, but I was there. It was good price. I figured I could make a little bit of money. We got Kinetic Sports Season 1 and 2. We got Sniper Elite. We got Far Cry 4. We got Assassin's Rogue Creed. Let's put all the Assassins. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and Assassin's Creed 3. So I may lot those up all together. There's a lot of three Assassins. And then we got Call of Duty Black Ops. Unfortunately, none of these have the manual. Though, but they're in pretty good condition. And these ones that I looked really were not worth anything. So I will lot them up together. Fallout 3. Halo Reach. I thought this one was going to be the Elder Scroll 5 Skyrim, but this really isn't worth anything. Destiny, Kinetic Adventures, uh, Kinetic Sports, and then Prototype 2. So those are probably all lotted up together. These I may sell individually, or I just may make it simple and lot them all up together. One big pile just to get them gone quickly, make a little bit of money but to have them not take up too much in my space. So that's all I got. Wasn't a lot, of, a lot, didn't spend a lot of time. Happy to get the rust bucket gone. Someone's gonna really enjoy it. It's gonna look good on a mantle. All right, so this sale just came through. It's the Craftsman Heavy Duty Tractor Bumper. I sold this for $79.99 plus $40 in shipping. I'm not exactly sure how much the shipping is going to cost me. I'm pretty sure when I last time I priced it, quoted it, it was under $40 to ship this big thing. Hopefully the person's close. Um, I paid $20 for this at a local garage sale slash estate sale um, slash moving sale. I'm saying the slashes because I don't remember which one it was. But let me get it shipped out. I'm actually just going to ship it in its package. I'm going to take the original shipping notification off right there. Um, and then I'm going to tape up this little corner where the little glues come loose and I'm going to ship it in this and then let me see how much it's going to cost me to ship and then we'll see if I actually made much profit on this but I'm glad to get it gone. So yep, I did a pretty good estimation. I can get the shipping under the $40 including paying taxes and uh, fees on the shipping so off this I pay 20 and I will make a total of about $58 profit so pretty good buy. I'm liking it. Hey guys, today we sold the Call of Duty. If we paid $1 for it, it sold for $9.99 free shipping. After listing it, it sold 30 minutes after.